my salaries. Salaries. If you check your if you check your wallet first and then set salaries, you will set low salaries. If you have a parent board, they generally check their wallets first and say we can't really pay afford to pay that much for salaries because it's a nonprofit school and they recognize it with well, any school for that matter, tuition is the biggest single thing, that's the biggest budget item. It's over half, three quarters, somewhere in that area. So that's the big number. So they say what they can afford to put in the hat, and then you work it out, and lo and behold, you can't not have insurance, you can't not pay the electric. The only thing you cannot pay is the teachers. And because teachers are, are givers, it's, it's a supporting, nurturing uh, a profession by nature, they're a little easier to give, mostly. And so the teachers end up working for what I would call substandard salaries. So my philosophy has been, who am I going to be competitive with? I pick the public schools. I look at the public school salary, and I want to pay the primary teachers the public school salary. So that if I wanted to recruit a public school teacher, you normally you never do because they don't like Montessori. They 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 got their own paradigms now. But financially, it's as rewarding to work here as it is in the public school. But um, all the parents at this school know that before they're even accepted in the school, that they will have zero input on pedagogical matters. Zero. If you want the picnic changed from a Tuesday night to a Thursday night, I am happy to talk to you. Well, happy to talk to you, but I will. But if you um, want your child reading at age three, um, if you don't like some classroom procedure um, that relates to Montessori, um, you're, you're in the wrong school go to the suburb north or west or south, even east, and those schools are tailor-made for you, but not here. And I, I tell them, if you ask us to change the program, it will no longer be the program you came here for. And so we're not going to change the program. And even if you think you want to change it, the other 29 families in your class don't want to change. And that's why they're here. So zero input on matters of pedagogy. And I tell them too, we have a frame within which we work. We're not free to go off the reservation in Montessori terms. You know, if we want to be, a, and you know I don't know whether you're AMI, AMS, XYZ, it doesn't matter. But if we want to be an AMI school, we have to have all AMI teachers. We have to have extended day. We have to have 28 to 35 children in a class. We have to use materials that are approved. Um, we have to have three hours uninterrupted work time. That leaves us about this much room to fool around. So there's, there's no room. And, and so don't ask that. And the parents know now. They know.